All right, hello and uh, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening, Paul Tranny here. Welcome, everybody. Michelle Andreas, Viola, Sam Peterson's in the house. I uh, want to welcome everybody. Also joining me elsewhere. There we go. Let's do a little bit of that action. And uh, yeah, here we are, folks. Good to have you here. Uh, you're here just in time. So this is uh, your master class. And um, we're going to dive into the different logo types. I say five. They're... Um, there, you could divide it up into more categories, but I see five is probably the most common uh, way to sort of divide up the different type logo types that are out there. So good to have you here, Rob. Uh, Umakon, uh, good good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, Frank's in the house. Cool. All right. So everything seems to be going just fine, and hopefully there is no echo. So I've had that happen before. So let's dive into this, folks. Shall we do that? Yeah, let's share my screen. Welcome everyone. All right, got my coffee. I see Ashatam out there as well. Rocky, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. We need to connect. Boy, do we ever. Is this a little disconcerting when I'm on the um, right side. Maybe I should be on the left side. But here we have sort of the different types. So we have, I'm just going to go ahead and give it away right now. Let's dive into this. So we have word marks, right? Letter marks, brand marks, combination mark, and emblem, right? And then I have an assortment of logos here. So I know a lot of people are pros at this and um, can probably tell the difference between these. But let's go ahead and do this because this will be fun. So let's hide artboards. Again, some of the some of the sort of major brands down here we take a look at. It's like what would a what a what would a word mark be, right? What's up, Rick? How you doing? Is everybody doing well? I'm gonna make some logos. So this is the short of it. I'm gonna go over these five different logo types, but I also posted it to uh, Twitter. So let's go out there. Let's close those other resources. I'll get into those in a little bit. Uh, but I posted this to Twitter just so you know, and I was like, hey. <clears throat> let me know uh can i make you a logo like what do you guys got going on so i i have actually kind of commissioned the community so feel free if you are interested in me like knocking out a logo i'm not saying i'm going to get to everything of course i won't but um uh would love to hear from you i think i saw michelle here and michelle posted in here I love this idea, by the way, Picture Detective. I have ideas for children's book series where the illustrations will give kids clues to help them solve the mystery. That's awesome. Picture Detective. That might be more like a sort of a, sort of title art is what I see that as, uh, just so you know. But yeah, so I posted that and we'll get into that uh, as well. But feel free to kind of uh, throw out any uh, if you want me to make your logo. So, all right, let's do this, folks. Hello, everybody. I need me some coffee. First up, word mark, right? Guess what? It's going to be the whole word. So uh, in this case, which one of these would be like a word mark? Starbucks, Harley Davidson? Mm, maybe, but it's probably going to be Uber. So Uber is probably your most likely candidate for something being a word mark right up here. Okay. And let's make this even larger, huh? Shall we? Make it easy to see. Crank it up, shift it, make it bigger, make the type bigger. I'll be using Illustrator for most of this, just so you know. Space this out. There we go. Let's space this out even more, huh? This is me all day long, even when I work on presentations. I spend way too much time formatting everything, and, and I'm like, oh yeah, I got to do content. Uh, we have letter mark now as well. Like, which one would be the letter? Uh, uh, Viola needs a logo for your bar. Uh, type it in there. And please tell me you're getting video. Um, yeah, Viola, I'd love, I love the whole idea of uh, bar. Uh, all right. Jess is in the house. Good to see ya. So we have letter mark up next, right? What would be a letter mark out of all these logos? 
what would be like a letter mark? Oh, you're probably thinking CNN. Oh, you would be correct. I'm not even giving you enough time to answer. You'd be right. HBO, CNN, those are your letter marks, right? We, nobody calls it home box office anymore, right? Uh, you guys are good. Brand mark, what's go, what goes under brand mark? You guys probably know this as well. Cool. John McGrath Art, hello. Hold on, I gotta turn on my coffee. Oh yes, I saw that, Christine, smooth sailing. It's good to know that you're here, by the way, because I have that written down, it's already in my file. Uh, brand mark, uh, you guessed it, it's gonna be something like Twitter, the Nike swoosh, right? Um, well, we could talk about more of these two under letter mark. My letter marks might be uh, McDonald's would be a popular one. Combination mark, what's a combination mark and what's an emblem, right? I think you guys kind of know this because we already have Nike over here. Well, guess what? They can also, they can have a brand mark and a combination mark as well. So we'll put those under that category, Sh under the category of shoes. Oh, boom, golden rolls, nails it. Chris Georginus, what's up, man? Good to see you here. I like having you here. Emblem, you guys get the idea. Now, by the way, like a lot of these logos, some logos just have their one logo, especially the really strong bread, CNN, McDonald's, right? Just has, well, actually McDonald's does have more, but some brands uh, sort of ha evolve and live in multiple categories, like Nike, and that's why I put that example in there. It's like, hey, it's a brand mark, it's a combination mark. Guess what, it's also a word mark, if you just take the word Nike. So it has everything in there. So, um, good morning, James. So yeah, I threw that out to Twitter, said, hey, you know what? You got some, you got a business that you're working on or you wanna make up one? I don't know. I think I'm gonna die because my coffee's not hot anymore. I might die. I don't know what's happening. All right, but let's check this out. These are the names that I got so far. And more might roll in. <laughs> Again, I asked Twitter, feel free to reach out to me there if you want to, or even in chat, since you're here already and just trying to make it easy on you. Uh, but got a number of uh, suggestions. Q, air heating and uh, air conditioning, picture detective, 88 graphic design, aerosol infantry, smooth sailing. I like smooth sailing. Um, Christine said she's here as well. So that, that puts it as a contender as well. And I think Michelle's here as well. So we'll move this one forward as well. Okay, and then Cakey's Cookies. <laughs> which is also cool. So these are kind of like our different brands that we can kind of knock out um, uh, real fast. And I hate cold coffee too. This I'm gonna die, folks. It's not working. So yeah, all right. So let's dive into this and have some fun. Um, ooh, that's a great question. What's your favorite brand logo of all time? Like old or new, right? Good question. Favorite brand? Thank you, Sam. Ooh, Cakey's Cookies. So let's do this. These will be our three that we'll work with, and these will uh, fall into different categories, okay? Some ideas out here are already kind of fleshed out, right? Elevated is already stylized and it's LVTD. Like that's kind of already kind of fleshed out, but it really doesn't matter. It's like you kind of got to go with what the business gives you, right? Um, just so you know. So that's all. Aerosol infantry, I can't go to them. Hey, change your name just because I want to make a cool logo that's different. Okay. Uh, what I typically do is I would actually do some research. So first thing I want to do is say for and I'm sorry, I'm gonna take smooth sailing first because this is gonna be more of like a, a type lockup. This one's gonna end up being more like of a, a word mark more than anything, just so you know, picture detective. I love Cakey's cookies as well. This one's gonna be amazing. The fun thing about this is that uh, you get to make sort of a small version to go on the bottom of the package and then a larger version for the website. And you just like, you end up creating all these different ones. Like you'll have a, a logo and then you'll have the signature, which might be the logo, Cakey's Cookies, and then um, uh, anything else. 
So, and again, that's called the signature. So let's take these, let's do, let's just dive into this. And again, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet because uh, this is all live. So let's let's dive in with those three. I love Q air, air, air heat, heating and air conditioning, right? I don't think air needs to be in there twice. I think most are known as just heating and air. But I think what's cool about that and it's for their last name, which is uh, quail. Obviously the Q already shows uh, sort of shows air movement within this logo to begin with, within this text. So let's move these up. As we can see right here, we can maybe take an O, right? And then take a line. So I would typically start with research is what I would do. I would go out there and see um, I would make sure I'm not making a logo that already exists somewhere, right? So I would probably just do some research, right? That's pretty, hopefully that's pretty obvious, but jump in here. Let's just make this one really fast. Let's crank up the size. This one, just so you know, would fall under the case of like a letter mark. So Q heating and air conditioning. So let me do this really fast. At least this is the one that I'm inspired by the most. I'd probably make sure that that's the same thickness as that, like that, take that, and I can make sure it's exact. I probably only want like maybe three lines or maybe four, but let's just take those and let's use a blend tool on that. Bam, bam. There we are. And the nice thing is, is we can adjust these all we want and it will automatically like adjust the spacing, right? Cause I could tell this curve isn't perfect, right? I could still play with that. We can give this a little bit of depth. And what I would do is I'd put it inside of this circle right here. So let's take this. Heck, let's just create an outline for it. Thank you so much for joining me today. We got a full day of master classes. So it should be pretty fun, everyone. Uh, I see an option for a quo as in status quo, but you know what? Q, Q heating and air is so much bigger than that. They're so much bigger than the status quo. That's everybody else, not Q heating and air. Let's make sure that's sent to the back. All right. Take this and scale it maybe up a little bit. There we go. And then let's actually adjust this line down like so. And since we've done that, we can change the blend mode, or excuse me. Yeah, basically the blend to specified steps. Let's go three, see what happens. Click OK. Too much. I knew that was going to happen. But the whole idea is sort of like make it look like air is flowing through uh, is the idea. All right. Put a fan blade in there. Yeah. That could work. I want to kind of deal with depth, too. Again, we're brainstorming. I want to get to the other designs as well, since Cakey's Cookie's here, Michelle is here, and um, who else is here? Yes, I need to do smooth sailing. Yeah, so many I need to do. So anyways, do that, bring that beneath that. You do something kind of like that. And I can add maybe a little bit of a shadow. Hmm, let's think about this. Do we play with depth? So let me just jump in here. And again, I'm just, I'm not saying all this stuff is gonna be perfect, but this is kind of how I'd execute on this design. You know, do we give it like a little bit of depth? 
by missing that. There it is. Let's close that up. And I could probably trim that up a little bit. Does that look like a Q? Um, maybe that doesn't actually look like a Q, because you know why? This line is not as thick as the other, so I need to change that. In my opinion, this line needs to be thicker. And it needs to have less steps. Anyway, something like that. I would work on the curves more, but that's sort of the initial concept, right? That I would have sketched out normally. Oh yeah, hey, Brands of the World, I like it. By the way, also uh, talking about resources, exactly what I was gonna do. So we have uh, Brands of the World, Ads of the World. There's also Logo Book, right? So take a look at Logo Book. You can see a ton in here, right? So we have letters and numbers, right? So we can see, as we zoom out, if we're working on a letter mark, which is exactly what we were doing, that one, that one needs a little bit of work still. I locked everything down. There we go. Ah, oh, it's fine. Anyways, so if you take a look out here, logo book. Let's go to Q just to maybe get inspired. Q. And look at this, gorgeous, right? So I don't know, some people, kind of design and they because they don't want to get influenced by anything that they see out there other people just kind of jump in and do their research um yeah i'm really into this but I, i'd want some that look like air conditioning like this kind of looks like air conditioning uh but lots of cool ones in here not all of them look like cues admittedly this one looks gorgeous right and this is kind of what i was trying to replicate uh, with these sad lines right in here, just so you know. So, okay, everybody, let's move on, shall we? That looks like kind of like an on switch. So, anyways, logo book's awesome. Sweet. Welcome, John. Uh, ooh, so Steve, when you look at, uh, when you're like looking for a font, you'll look at some of the interesting characters like Q. There we go, jump in here, have that selected, go out, and just kind of roll through all the cues available, and you can see how they start to vary a lot. Yeah. All right, but I've said this before, it's like, when you're, if you're creating a logo, you're not you're not necessarily just picking a font. That's not really logo creation. You could start with it, but then learn where to go from there. All right, I like that one. Let's just drop that right there. Let's move on, huh? Not the best one, because I'm still seeing an O. That's okay. Uh, let's move on to something else, shall we? Move these down. We have Picture Detective, Smooth Sailing, and Katie's Cookies. Oh yeah, let's do Picture Detective. This is gonna end up probably being more like a word mark or an emblem, right? So let's play some with those. New layer, let's just turn off everything else. Ah, this'll be fun. So this is for a children's book. Keep that in mind. 
For that, I want it to be playful, so I will start with a font. It's definitely gonna be like some type lockup, right? I can go with a script, decorative, handwritten, and uh, typically I'll just kind of run through these and see what I get, right? Already, this is a good, this is a good font. Picture detective. Boom, boom. Let's just have some fun, everyone. Type has one job, which is to be legible. So if it's not legible, it's not doing its job, right? So some of these cursive ones, I don't really like read right away. Like these ones get really tough to read. This one's kind of fun. All right, one more category we're gonna work with. Uh, yeah, let's do this lovely script fonts. There you are. So again, this one just seems kind of playful. All right. Tiago, what's up? Good to have you, Reverb Mike. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, Rick H, you're exactly right. Picture detective, the very obvious is like a magnifying glass, you know, and we could play with that. Okay, we could do this a couple different ways. Let's grab an ellipse. Make it large. Let's make our lovely little magnifying glass. We'll make it flat initially. Oh, what am I doing? This is what we could do. We could stretch this out. And uh, I want this handle to have different thicknesses, okay? So I actually want it to be pretty thick down here. I could use the, excuse me, not the shape builder. Just above that is the width tool. So we use the width tool on this. Right, jump in here, grab that. Uh, we could actually click once. Let's just click there. Drag that up. We're getting the, the width sizes. So we'll go from 20 to about 50, maybe 40, right? The reason I kind of want to keep track of that size is because uh, I want to duplicate it on this end. All right. This is fascinating. Okay, so grab this one, pull it right into it. Hopefully you're seeing that. Grab this end, we'll pull it right into the very edge. We can see that it gives it that sharp angle, okay? It is kind of hard to dial this in, to be honest with you. It's like I'm literally just kind of waiting for those to line up. Um, so yeah, that's the situation there. There we go. But we did make a handle, that's pretty easy, okay? Let's make this part smaller. A little bit, but actually I wanna have a magnifying effect. So let's jump in here. Let's get these out of the way. Uh, or a lab, like a beaker and stuff, yeah. We do like fingerprints. Fingerprint would be fun. But I wanna do a magnifying glass because I think this would be cool. It's all about finding the little thing in the picture. Again, this is Michelle's. Handle's still a little wonky. Come on, Paul, fix it. I gotta fix this. Jump in here with the tool. Zip, zip, like that. Give it a shorter handle, like that. You can always give it some depth, but right now that's all we'll go with. We'll grab this. Move this up. And we're just gonna have a little bit of magnification. We're gonna see if this actually works. So what I need is I want a circle, and within that circle, I need that text to be magnified, so. Let's do it. We're gonna have one size of text and then the other size. 
How's everybody doing today, huh? Reverb mic? Ooh, we could do, for Detective, it could be like uh, a game of Clue. <laughs> we have like a bunch of mysterious items, like a lead pipe and a rope uh, and a candlestick, things like that. Yeah, so I was gonna do the, I was gonna do like a magnifying effect on this was my plan. But all I was gonna do is mask it out. So in order to do that, I'm gonna just change the color here real fast. Boom, 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 boom. Bring that to the front, right in here. We wanna mask those two things with a big circle. Zoop. Take those, and then we'll go ahead and make it a clipping mask, right? Made that a clipping mask. The reason I made that red is just so I could see it, to be honest with you, and so you guys could see it. It's not really gonna be red. But now I need to line these two up. So let's actually change this color. Now it's bothering me. Change that back to white. Work it, work it, work it, cut it. Hold on, X, put that on two lines. Move that over. Make sure that it's on a, its own layer. And again, this is less, this is almost like less logo work. This is obviously a word mark, but it's uh Okay, let's adjust this spacing. There we go, bingo. So I'm just trying to connect this U on this side. Picture detective. Okay, we got that done. Cut, new layer. Paste, I can group it, rotate it, make sure everything else is locked down and get this into position. Oops. All right. Yes, totally rotate the handle down 45 degrees. Rick's, Rick's really the art director here. Yeah. Ooh, John, aerosol infantry is here. Oh, I gotta get on I gotta get on this. Ah, I got so much to do. Scale strokes and effects. Right, because I want to scale up the handle and everything else. Zip. Zip it up like that. And bring it in just like so. Okay, so this is massive. We're gonna have to th make this thinner. And we're gonna need to do a number of things to dial this in. For one, this line is way too thick, and you guys get the idea. I'm gonna show you a pro tip here. Check this out, Catherine. So what I really need to do is I need to, let's say for instance, I need to size down. So, so this is made up of multiple strokes. I use the width tool here, right? There's, and it's just complex, right? And really I just wanna make um, the thickness of this magnifying glass like 50% the size. So how would you do that? Right now, if I scale it up, it scales up the stroke, scales down the stroke, right? So what I would do is I would shrink it down, maybe 50% if you wanna get that down 50%, go into your preferences, go into general, and then turn off scale strokes and effects. Now that I have that turned off, when I scale it up, you could see that's much thinner, okay? So again, that's what I want to do. I'm not going to get this perfect, right? This makes a very makes for a very huge logo. I probably, after looking at it now, I would uh, stack those um, words, picture and detective underneath and do it that way. But this one definitely needs to be resized, okay? Key thing about this, if I resize this line, I should be able to resize this. 
boom, relatively. So this is using the width tool and it's scaling up both sides, okay? Typically what I would do here is I'd actually throw a highlight on here because that would make it look better as well. Should I stack it? Anyways, you guys get the idea. I think this is pretty good. We'll just go with this because there's other logos I need to get to. I don't know why I bit off so much today. Crazy, right? But let's kind of move that off to the side because that one's, that one's done for now. I would definitely add some fun highlights in here. So this is going to look better on color and everything. But there we have it. All right. Ooh, you could also use 3D, uh, something like that. Yeah, and also, like, I think this needs a little bit of a curve down here. So I would add all those details. I would have a little bit of a curve on the end. Right. And I'd make sure this part is curved. But let's move on. That one's good. Hopefully that's okay. As I continue to tweak it. And, and make it not any better. <laughs> uh, okay, that's good. Done. Move on. Uh, yeah, fill fill the entire lens. So this is what I would do, Chris. I don't know. I don't know what you would do. I would put down a. I'd want there to be a color back there, personally, because this is kind of the sort of masthead for the book. So this is going to be a color, right? which means I'd have to change the inside. And then I would add a highlight in white. So that's what I would do. All right, you guys get the idea. Oh, I wanna change it now. Let's go with that. Uh... Sure, let's go with this fun color. Peach. So now you should be able to see that highlight. The highlight can be done a number of ways, but if we just draw it in here like that, that's how a highlight would usually go. All right, works for me. All right, guys, let's move on. I have other logos to make. Ah, oh, I got a job to do, people. Let's turn on, what do we have in here? We've done this one. We have smooth sailing, we have Cakey's Cookies. I really like Cakey's Cookies, to be honest with you. Smooth sailing uh, does web design, digital marketing. Um, let's see who sent this to me, and I don't know if you're here. Michelle, I need to spend more time on it, and I apologize. I do apologize. Ooh, let's look at this. Let's look at Cakey's Cookies on Instagram. Wait for it. Ah, it's great. So she actually doesn't have a logo. Is it okay if I tackle this one? I think this will be good. So let's do this. Oh, this is so good because we actually have, again, real business. Creating some amazing cookies, right? And I'm already like getting really inspired by this. It's fall, y'all. These are awesome. Oh, Catherine is here. Oh. Oh, uh, now the pressure is on. Ah, uh, Catherine, oh, the pressure. All right. And all I have is cold coffee. Let's do this, because you know what? We're professionals. Let's have some fun. I'd probably do two different formats. So the interesting thing here is when you say cakey's cookies, um... I assume that's a take on Catherine or Katie, right? Which is awesome. Uh, t -t -t -t. All right. Yeah, Reverb Mike, you're funny. So awesome. Yes, shout out to Cakey's Cookies, by the way. Awesome work. 
It looks amazing. High quality, good photos. You're doing fantastic. This is awesome. Uh, yeah, so let's take this. We have this. Let's just, let's just do let's just do some work, huh, Paul? Let's do some work. Man, you, the one thing that's stuck out to me is just the professionalism with those cookies, right? Um, what I can do right now is I can still search through this little window. Oh yeah, we're I, I'm seeing some stuff. This boucherie cursive. This is so nice because again, it feels like frosting to me, right? That's what this feels like. I think Heller's gonna play a huge role in this logo personally, right? Okay, so that's awesome. Love it. Does it still read as a K? Do we need to put a C in there? I feel like if we put a C in there, it's gonna read like Kansas City. So if we just do an acronym, mm, this is not quite gonna work. So I'm just gonna take the K if that works for you guys. And we'll add some fun embellishments. So sometimes with these fonts, and we can take a look. Oh, sure enough, for this one happens to be Funky Dory. Oh, I love Funky Dory, because guess what do we have? Oh, beautiful. Funky Dory is saving the day. I love these, uh, these additional embellishments, right? For these additional glyphs, right? For this K. Boom. That one doesn't look that much different. What is going on? Ooh, that's fun too. I have no idea where I got this font, by the way. Fascinating. Okay. This one's almost, yeah, that one's good. I still, I'm kind of leaning toward this one. Do, just do your work, Paul. Get it done. Uh, I've gone 37 minutes. I'll be here for another 25 minutes. Uh, too close to Special K. Peter, good call. Is it too much, too close to Special K? Like, definitely, especially if I use red. Like, yeah, you're exactly right. Red, white, that's like Special K, for sure. Um, but that's a good call. I think that's something to look out for. Um, sometimes I'll actually jump out and I will use something like word mark it. I'll type in K or K keys. Hit enter. If I go to wordmark.it, this gives me that word uh, and displays it in all the fonts on my hard drive, right? So I could just peruse full screen with some ads, this text in all these different fonts that I have on my desktop. Like this, Pilgi. Like this one might work too. Pilgi. Cool, identified that font, jump out. And do what we need to do. Okay, sometimes you'll search for a font and you won't find it. Click right here, it's because you have a filter on. So just clear everything. And then uh, P-I-L, it should come up. Come on. Unless it doesn't come up, then what are you gonna do? I don't know why it's not coming up. Again, clear all should actually be in there. Let's move on to uh, fonts.adobe.com. I gotta get this done. I gotta get it done. Catherine, she's a demanding boss. Let's do this, let's take a look. Oh, why am I searching on Adobe fonts? Let's browse fonts. There we go. And you can see the number of filters when you jump out here. So this is nice. Um, I want some cursive personally. And there we go. Oh yeah. Hey, Boucherie is what I was using. So that kind of confirms the font that at least I'm interested in. Ooh, Shelby, gorgeous, maybe. So we'll remember that. Ooh, Quimby, oh yeah, I know Quimby.
Here we go. All right, let's get this party started. Here we go. Let's see if there's alternate glyphs. Nope, not for this one. make this look kind of like an emblem. Send it to the back, take this, put on white. Uh, what I think would be really fun is to make it look like a dollop of like, um, of like frosting, right? This already could work, but I think a dollop of, like, that's what this is saying to me. It's like, just like a dollop of, like, whipped cream or frosting. So, yeah. Sounds like people, you're not, you're not responding to this one. But. So, let's move it over. It's toting down this hot pink. What is it's not, not quite as elegant as I'd want it to be. That's a little bit more cake-like or cookie-like. So the circle's meant to sort of be iconic of a cookie. That's the idea. You guys still reading that as a K? Um, what we could do, we could do a little bit of an offset. Let's do a little bit of an offset for this. color, make it a touch larger, make this a little larger as well. We might feel the need to do the same for this K, all right, which we can do. Okay, oh, piping bag, choco chips, I like it. Catherine, what's your idea? I might have missed it, darn it. A piping bag. Okay, I don't know what those look like, but let's find out. Okay, got it. It's a little, I guess we're, just take that. Boom, boom, bring it in. Ah, did I just miss it? No, it was in there. Yeah, maybe a piping bag. You know what I'm thinking about, Catherine, is I'm thinking about your Instagram and I'm thinking about this like small icon that you have right up here of you, which is great, don't get me wrong, but like, I don't think a piping bag is gonna read within here. It's just, it's, it, it might not read. So that's, that's kind of the, the problem I'm thinking of, okay? That's the problem with the piping bag, but I think for other uses, like on your website, that might work. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty basic, okay? All right, let's check this out. This is looking pretty basic, right? Not a, not a huge fan. Let's, uh, again, just take this to the next level. Even this alone is better, by the way. But let's, let's kind of really sell the 3D thing. So, let's take this. Uh, let's move this over. We're just gonna take this, okay? 
we'll go to 3D and we'll just do an extrude and bevel, right? So with this extrude and bevel, it's of course gonna bevel, it's gonna give you a, a sharp edge, right? And actually gives you this, this depth. You can sort of adjust the axes, right? You can see what we're getting. We can kind of give it that angle, but what we wanna do is we wanna jump in with a bevel and we wanna make it rounded. So now we're starting to get those highlights that we like, okay? From here, we'll take the height. Ooh, hello, not too much. Those, ooh, those start conflicting. Interesting. Fascinating. Okay, so this is more along the lines of what I like. Um, we can go into more options right down here and control the lighting. Make it from the upper left to make sure it's hitting uh, right there. Let's take this down to say 20. I'm still getting a little bit of funkiness. If you're in any one of these fields, you know, you want to see it actually take effect. Just hit the tab key. We're getting like a little bit of that bevel. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm still getting this weird fractal thing. So ultimately what I would do there is I would outline this text. So right in here, we'll get rid of that extrude and bevel. We will outline the text. And we'll just take a look at all the different points. So there's a lot of points in here and it's causing issues. So let's go ahead and object path. Simplify, which is actually brand new. Look at how, look at this is gonna help out so much. Look what it did magically. Look at how many fewer points there are. This is so nice, right? And then just click away. You don't have to hit enter. I know I always do that. <laughs> Command Y, we have a smooth K. Now we can go in and uh, do our bevel on this. So effect, we'll just apply the extrude and bevel, which is the last one we just had, and sure enough, we've cleaned it up, right? See what we did? This was before with too many points, and this is the after where everything's like nice and smooth. So that's what we can do. We can also do that with a circle. So if we draw out that circle now, right? What I actually have going on is like applying the last used effect to what you're drawing, what you're creating. But anyway, uh, right in here again, just like change the color, right? Put this on top. I said on, I said on top. There we go. And now we have like something like with a little bit more of a, I don't know, style to it. Yeah, too many, too many points for sure. I would wanna make this even thicker too. So uh, just cause I want it to stand out. But uh, my only concern is this little part kind of not, not reading right. Like I almost wanna bring that to a point to be honest with you. So again, we still have our cleaned up version right over here that we could take and modify. It's right in here. Let's get rid of that point. Let's get rid of that point. You know, and we'll, we might mess this up too much. Let's undo that a little. Minus key. Oh, nope. Keep that one. Ah, this is this is the designer's life. Uh, aerosol infantry. Um, sorry, I didn't get to that yet. I, with aerosol in infantry, I would I would refrain from using anything that looks like a spray can, because one I think spray cans like kind of have like I don't know is it a '90s grunge look? That's what spray cans kind of feel like to me. Any any splatter, whatever, right? That's what it feels like to me. Um, I could always trick this a little bit as well. So we'll just hit N for pencil. We'll do a line. We'll make sure smoothing is turned up and then we'll just do a curve like that. Okay, so there's my curve. We'll bring this up to 30, right? We will um, actually jump in and cap the ends, right? Nice and smooth. And then we'll use our width tool, which we used earlier. So jump in in here, width tool, 
and then making it smaller there, but thicker, say, right up here. So that's how we would get our, like, that's how we'd get just a nice, like, a nice spiral for this K. So again, new version. Again, we're just going to be nice and elegant. Maybe this could even be on uh, this end, for instance. That might look pretty good. Ah, <sighs> uh, yeah, so aerosol infantry, if you do AI, then I'm going to think of augment, uh, uh, what am I thinking of? What would I think of? Artificial intelligence. That's what I would think of when I, when I see AI. Hey, do you want to do a perfect spiral? Guess what? There actually is a perfect spiral right in here because there's actually a spiral tool. Look back here, spiral. We can control this twirl as well okay so i'm actually doing a down an up and down arrow to make this spiral in more or less but i think maybe right there might be good boom and now we have our perfect spiral that we could work in if we want to as well i think catherine's very much like the perfect spiral type just so you know because her cookies look amazing but anyways, you guys get the idea. Okay, there you go. Yeah, it needs work. It needs work. Ah, there's never enough time. There you go. It needs to be smoothed out. You guys get the idea. This needs some work too, but hey, that's why we're here. is to get better. Let's do 12. Uh, yeah. There you go. Sometimes I will uh, like pick some colors and then do the like exact opposite of that. Let's outline this. Okay, so these colors we know they don't work. That's okay. Uh, if you're stuck with colors at all, like I know these don't work, select them, go into uh, recolor artwork and just try some new things like we could even take let's take this color palette right here this is what we'll do we'll just steal this just this upper section because I don't want to grab a lot of the shadow but that's all right drop this in here there it is say hey you know we're going to steal the colors from her cookies and apply it to her logo so edit edit colors recolor artwork here we are color theme picker we can click or we can do a click and drag and grab even more colors. Why is it only? I don't know why it's really not changing that much. That's interesting. But either way, you could always go into advanced options and tweak it some more. You guys get the idea. I'm down in my last couple of minutes. Um, There we go. I like this. I like this sort of color palette. I would probably brighten it up some. But I think this looks more of a mature. This is more of a mature palette than this one with this pink. So for what it's worth. All right, guys, I've done a lot of work. I'm all I'm all I'm wiped out. 
Uh, I also want to talk about this. There's more than just five, by the way. We can get into other details, and this I just grabbed off uh, of just another reference website. You can get into, like, you can make a mascot, uh, pictorial, but again, you're kind of getting into the weeds a little too much if you go beyond five, if you ask me. So, anyways, you guys get the idea. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, yeah, we worked on, we tried to make three. Uh, we had some successes, some wins, some losses. Hey, it can't, can't be perfect all the time, uh, but it is a start. Uh, Rachel, you're awesome. I, I think the Q Air one has like the most potential. Like that's the one I would spend more time on because I think we need to get it looking really nice and elegant. Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna turn it over. T White's in the house. Terry White, the one and only doing some photography magic. I appreciate him so much and I appreciate you guys for hanging out. Uh, I'm going to be back also with a Photoshop Masterclass, uh, as Sean mentioned. So thank you so much, Sean. Everybody, appreciate you. Take care. Stick around for T. White. I'm going to be hanging out with him as well uh, in chat and uh, basically just being disruptive. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon.